Hey, what's good everyone? It's Matoki, and this is my Draw My Life video. Even though I've been making videos for years now, I never made one of these, so I figured, eh, why not? On December 3rd, 1996, I was born in the state of Ohio, which is this weird-looking state in the middle-ish of the United States. It's pretty cool, I guess. Before I was born, I had a life expectancy of only 20%. But luckily, it worked out and I'm here today. My mom told me that I was so big as a baby that right after I was born, the nurse told her I looked like a sumo wrestler, which is a bit racist, but you know, whatever, I guess. I should mention that my mom is Japanese and my dad is white. They were both English teachers and ended up meeting each other in Japan after they were assigned to work on a project together. I know, right? So cute. Anyways, in addition to my mom and dad, when I was born, I had a brother and a sister. But before my parents had us, they made a pact together that one day, when they had kids, they would have them experience both of their home countries. And that's exactly what happened. After four years of living in Ohio, my family and I flew over to Japan to start a whole new life. I had to learn Japanese, make new friends, and live in an entirely different country that I didn't know anything about. Luckily, I caught on pretty fast though, and it ended up being a great time. The only problem I ever had was when I occasionally got bullied in school for being the white kid. The school I went to didn't have any other foreigners, so naturally some kids thought it would be fun to pick on the weird pale kid. From an early age, I was forced to learn that despite what I looked like or what people said about me, I was still going to be the same person, so I stopped caring so much what others thought. I lived in Japan for about three years before moving back to Ohio, but instead of moving back to where I was born, we lived across the state in a really small town that didn't have much going on. The most exciting thing to do in the whole town was go to Walmart, <laughs> and that says a lot. Moving back to America was a bit difficult, not too bad or anything, but I had to relearn English, which I had completely forgotten because by the time I moved back, I was speaking and even thinking in only Japanese. Even though my teacher told my parents that I might have to stay back a grade, I caught up pretty fast and luckily, didn't have to. I had a lot of fun as a kid. I ended up joining a small group of friends who were great. I played baseball and soccer, just had a great time. I did sometimes get made fun of for being the only Asian kid, but that kind of got old. When I was in grade school, I wanted to be an actor. Whenever I watched movies or TV shows with younger actors, I was super jealous and always wanted to be just like them because I, I thought they were so cool. I even started acting in all the school plays that I could. Around middle school, I found this website called YouTube where I saw these hilarious YouTubers called Ryan Higa and Kevin Wu, also known as Niga Higa and Kev Jumba. I thought that they were so funny and awesome, I instantly wanted to make videos like them. So one day, I got a group of friends together and we filmed probably one of the worst videos to be ever created, but I had such a fun time. I'm glad I never posted it on YouTube though. I was actually a couple years under YouTube's age requirement of being 13, which I know a lot of people don't pay attention to, but at the time I thought that they'd somehow figure it out and put me in jail or something, I don't know. High school came along and I joined theater, speech, bunch of clubs, became vice president of my class, played soccer, and got involved in the church that my dad was a pastor in. Although I enjoyed a lot of what I did after a couple years, I ended up dropping most of it after realizing I was doing some of them just to please my parents, which is why I tried so hard to get good grades and do all the extracurriculars. I think that this is one of the reasons why, to this day, I feel inadequate whenever doing anything because I'm afraid of letting people down. While all this was happening in high school, I started posting occasional videos on my YouTube channels and they started getting some views and subscribers, which I thought was like the coolest thing ever. This motivated me and I started having big hopes for my future. I told myself that one day, I'm gonna live in Los Angeles and pursue a career in the entertainment industry, which was great and all, but for someone living in a small town in Ohio, I didn't know if that was even remotely realistic, but I didn't care. I should also mention that sometime around here, I started to date a girl. We'll call her Barbara. It was your typical young high school relationship, I guess. I fell head over heels for Barbara, and we had some good times. However, we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things, and looking back, it wasn't a healthy relationship. I moved away to LA for college, which was my dream come true. But because of that, long distance didn't work out, we lost feelings for each other, and after a year together, we broke up. And for me at the time, it was hard. I wasn't really ready for things to end, and she started seeing someone else right after, which just made me feel terrible about myself. To keep my mind off things, I stayed busy with my college work where I studied film and TV production. Soon after, I met some of the coolest people I know, and I don't even know what I would have done without them. They made me feel confident and happy, which pushed me to make YouTube videos again, even though I had practically stopped. From there, I started to push myself to see where this whole online video thing could take me. Seeing other people who had made it their full-time job inspired me to see if I could do that myself. 
Sadly, not everyone was for that as much as I was. Like most parents, mine don't really understand the whole online world so well, and to this day, they still don't fully understand what I do. They know that I make videos, but it's hard for them to grasp that it's not some weird little hobby, but that there is more to it. And as much as it hurts for me to say, on many occasions through the years, my mom has told me that she thinks my videos are stupid. She's told me that they're a waste of my time, and how she thinks there's no value in them. It's rough having one of the people you trust the most tell you how pointless they think your passion is. My dad is a little bit more carefree when it comes to my endeavors, and my mom has gotten a bit better over time. What I've had to come to understand is that she would only say those things to me because it was her way of trying to look out for me and her way of showing she was worried about my future. I love my parents. They've done so much for me, and I will forever be grateful for that. I joke a lot in my videos about how I'm such a disappointment to them, but honestly, I think that's just my way of coping with a fear that I'll let them down somehow. And that pretty much brings us up to speed to where I am today. I'm only 20, so this Draw My Life is still a work in progress. I'm still working on videos, which is super dope. Luckily for me, I have people like you all who watch them, so thank you so much. Thanks for helping me have a reason to smile each and every day knowing that there are people out there who believe in me. I'm not sure what my future looks like, but who does, right? I'm still in college right now. Not really sure if I'll finish though. There's a lot of work I wanna do and pursue full time, but I can't because it's impossible to do everything. I'm looking forward to what's to come and I can't wait to take you all with me. Listen, I don't think I'm someone to look up to at all or anything, but if there's anything I want you to take from this, it's that you can do whatever you wanna do. Don't shut others out, but ultimately do what you wanna do if that's what will make you happy. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something because you make that decision. If you live your whole life trying to please others or worrying what people will think of you, you're not living. Anyways, thanks again for watching. It means a lot to me. Hope you have a great day.